Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to use Google Now for your Galaxy Note 5. So I'm going to press and hold on my home button and Google Now is going to launch. Notice I have a nice little Google animation at the top. This will represent whatever animation is currently on Google's homepage and right now it's their new logo design. I can swipe down and view cards that are specific to items that I'm interested in. So I've got some stocks. I have some stories to read, and throughout the day it might give me other information such as my weather or how long it's going to take me to get home. I can even come in here and do voice commands or searches. I can get weather updates, sports scores, math answers, general facts. I can open up some apps, start phone calls, toggle settings. There's a plethora of options I can do. It's kind of like using S Voice, but you're using Google's version of it in a sense. It's not quite exactly like S Voice, but you kind of get a little bit of the same features here. Plus, it's a built-in search engine. Now tap on this voice icon and it's going to allow you to open up the microphone and be able to give it any sort of voice commands and begin doing voice searches. If I tap in the top left-hand corner up here, I can set my reminders. I can customize. Customize is going to be really neat because it's going to allow me to set up all the things that I'm interested in. So how do I usually commute? I usually drive. Am I interested in getting cricket scores? Probably not. Now down below you see I have apps, websites, places, sports, stocks, transportation, TV, video, and everything else. So apps and websites, so I want to receive cards from apps and websites. I have that set to yes. So it, Google is going to use my history, whatever I look for websites or pages. It's going to give me cards relevant to those that I frequently visit. On places, it'll set up my home address and work address. On the sports, I can set and add my favorite sports teams. I can go ahead and type in the sports team here and I'll get scores for that team. On stocks, I can set the stocks that I'm interested in. So right now I have Apple and Starbucks. If I tap add a stock, I can add in the stock that I'd like to. For transportation, how do I usually commute? I do car, I usually get around by driving, and I usually commute by my car as well. So those are some transportation options. That way it's gonna learn where I frequently visit. So right now it knows that I'm at work, but when it gets closer to five o'clock, it's gonna actually give me the actual estimated time based upon traffic conditions on how long it's gonna take me to get home on an optimal route. So that's really nice. I have TV and video, so I'm going to actually enter in my TV provider, my video on demand providers, and then it's going to show programs that I can cast while Chromecast is detected. Sure, it can do that. Continue to get recommendations for things I watch. So this is really cool because it's going to learn what I actually watch based upon maybe what I'm Chromecasting or what I'm watching on my provider and then give me recommendations for those shows. And then everything else is kind of like a smorgasbord of anything that I might have randomly searched for that Google thinks that I'd like to get information on. So you see up here at the top, Sons of Anarchy. Am I interested in those? Probably not anymore now that the show is actually over. So I can come in here and tap no and I'll no longer receive any updates for that show. And now I can come back out to my Google Now and all of my cards are going to refresh based upon preferences that I just set up. And I can always swipe down to refresh and this is going to give me a new cards and show me all of the cards that are available for me. So that's a really nice feature. And that is how you use Google Now on your Note 5. And for more Note 5 tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.